Today, I'm going to be talking about Pythagorean Theorem and Distance Formula. In math, there are some complicated equations, functions, and theorems. Fortunately, these are simple concepts to learn. Merriam-Webster defines the Pythagorean Theorem as a theorem in geometry in which the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle equals the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. To simplify that definition, if you square the longest side of a right triangle, then the other two sides can both be squared and added up to equal that number. The equation this is represented by is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A simple example of this is with a right triangle that has one leg length of 3 and one leg length of 4. We would square both of these numbers to get 9 plus 16 equals 25. And since 25 has a whole number for a square root, the hypotenuse is simply 5. There is another way to use this formula when the length of the hypotenuse is given. Let's say there is a triangle and the hypotenuse is 15 and one of the leg lengths is 9. This can be used by writing the equation 9 squared plus b squared equals 15 squared. We write out each square that we can do to get 81 plus b squared equals 225. We would then subtract 81 from both sides to get 144 and 144 has a square root of 12, so the side lengths of the right triangle are 9, 12, and 15. The distance formula, distance formula, distance formula, is a very self-explanatory concept. It is a formula or equation to find the distance between two points on a coordinate plane. This is done with the equation d equals the square root of the difference of x squared plus the difference of y squared. The difference in x and y being subtracting the second x and y value from the second coordinate from the first x and y value from the first coordinate. This is not necessary to use on a straight line along one of the axes as they can easily be counted. For slanted lines however, this is quite useful. Here is a sample question. Ty is at the point negative 9, 7, and he calls his friend James. James tells him he's at the point 10, 3. If the distance is in yards, how many feet are Ty and James separated? The first thing to find is the difference in x and y. Take 10 and subtract negative 9 to get 19, and take 3 and subtract 7 to get negative 4. Now square both numbers to get 361 and 16. Add these two numbers together and square root and you should get 19.416. Now multiply by 3 to get the final answer that Ty is 58.248 feet from his friend James. Another more complicated example of the usage of distance formula is when you're given a line and a point. Let's say the point is 8, 4 and the equation of the line is y equals 2x plus 1. We would need to find the shortest distance between the point and the line. This is done by making the line perpendicular to the equation. Since the slope of the first equation is 2x, we would use the negative reciprocal to get negative 1 half x. This slope would then be drawn from the point to be drawn to the line and find the intersecting point. After the intersecting point is found, we can then use distance formula to find the shortest distance from the point to the line. The equation looks like this. d equals the square root of negative 5.2 squared plus 2.6 squared. The answer for the shortest distance from the point to the line is about 5.814. Just remember that the equation for Pythag is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, in which a and b are the leg lengths and c is the hypotenuse, and distance formula is the square root of the difference in x squared plus the difference in y squared. Also remember that Pythagorean theorem is only used for right triangles, and distance formula is used with two known coordinates. Overall, these two topics aren't too bad. 